Hello once again everybody, this is Double Talk 73 I hope you're having a good day or evening. This is a bit of a different kind of video. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to explain to you how I leveled up from level 14 Oregon once I got there to level 18 Florida. Okay, let's uh, get rid of this for a moment. And let's go to our home screen. Okay. We're level 14 now. Okay. So what you can do, this is my advice. You can do what you want to do. For a rod, I go to match rods. Okay. That we don't want. Okay, what we're going to have to do is go to the home screen. Just remember, we just finished leveling up. We uh, achieved level 14. Okay, I got to pay it 20. That happens. <laughs> That's an automatic update or automatic repair. Okay, rods, match rods. I'm level 14, so I can get. I say I'm on Jester six foot three. So that's not a mass rod. That is a casting rod. There we go. Level 14. Jester six foot three. So that's good for four and a half to eleven and a half pound line. Okay, it's forty five hundred and fifty dollars. So if you stayed in Oregon and leveled from uh, what is it, level eight? Uh, yeah, level 8 in New York to level 14 in Oregon. If you stayed in Oregon, you should have plenty of money. So, I would buy the Jester 6 foot 3 for, for $4,550. Okay. Uh, then, for a real, real casting reel, I would buy the Lower MIG 1000S. Let's see, that's on page two, I believe. Nope. There it is. Lower Dex MIG. That's 18. Can't do that. Here it is. Lower Dex MIG 1000S, $5,000. That's max drag 8.8 .8 pounds. Okay, that's our casting. Then you should still have the uh, quarter ounce lures that you use in New York to catch walleye and sauger. So I would take these and then get some uh, fluoro point oh oh nine line fluoro. 0.009 so we're level 14 we can't get that we don't want to spend coins we can't get that because we're not there yet okay so we'll get this floral 0.009 which is 500 yards that's 1500 feet that's a pretty good amount for 8 pound for 530 dollars okay then that uh, narrow spoon quarter ounce one aught. Okay, so lures, spoon, narrow spoon. That's the purple one, I believe. There it is. Narrow spoon, quarter ounce, one aught. That's when we caught walleye and sauger on. Okay. Also, take you some grasshoppers and crickets and go back to New York. The reason being, it takes a long time in Colorado, excuse me, in Oregon to level up to 18. If you go back to New York and catch walleye and sauger, you'll level, level up a lot faster. Not only that, but when nothing else is hitting, in the middle of the day or 
in the evening or whatever. Well, there we go. You can catch black crappie over by the weed bed. Now, one thing you'll definitely want to do when you get there, rent a kayak. It's a thousand dollars. You'll make that back and fish the three three spots that I showed you. Okay. Let's go here. Go to New York. In the video, now I'm not buying a license because I'm not going fishing. In the video where I showed you to catch the, you're going to catch perch, a sauger, and walleye. But you're in a kayak. Let's see if we can go down here. Let's get rid of this. Let's see here enter it's a thousand dollars to rent it for and that's 24 real hours so okay so you get that kayak and let's expend let's go our time up in the middle of the day so see where we're at and remember over here that slough that goes back in there walleye sauger and, and trout i mean uh perch over here in this corner Past that log is where there's sauger and walleye, and then at nighttime peak, off the end of this rock wall here, rock bluff, right around the here, work your lure uh, two speed, three speed, whatever it takes to catch them. That's something you'll determine. Not only that, but here's here's the best thing. If you're catching fish with a lure, you're not spending money on bait. So, okay, so that's that's a good thing. If you're not spending money on bait, when you buy that lure, I think you get five of them. So you're good. Uh, you've got a fair eight pound. You've got a fairly decent line. So if you get hung up, it should come loose. But if it breaks, you've still got more lures that you can use. Then, while nothing else is hitting, you can come over here on this weed bed and fish right out on the end of it and catch black crappie. Okay? That's, that's the way I leveled up to Florida. Now, here's the deal. Once you get to Florida, you're going to want to catch those big bass. That's okay. The problem is, if you're using shiners or lure you want to get the absolute biggest rig that you can afford for the level that you're there and whenever you can upgrade as you go upper levels sell what you've got and buy a bigger heavier rig the reason being the bass go to 13 pounds over 13 pounds my my personal best is something a little over 13 pounds and if you're using an eight pound rig that you've got from here, that you, after you've leveled up, chances are either you ride, your reel, your line, your lure, something's going to break, something's gone. So, bingo. The other thing is, when you're using lures down in Florida, there are long nose gars, long nose Florida gars, and they go up over 20 pounds. Uh, so, if you're using even 13, 14 pound rig, you hook up a 20, 22, 24, 26 pound long nose gar, whatever you've got on there, it's probably gone. Not only that, but there are red drum in Florida that go up over 50 pounds. There are uni snook that go up over 30 pounds. There's tarpon that go up over 20 pounds. So there's, there's some big fish in Florida. So you've got to have a big rig. So... When you get to Florida, be sure and watch my video uh, on how to rig up. But you want the biggest possible rig that you can afford when you get to Florida. Same thing when you go from Florida to Louisiana. The gar in Louisiana go up 108 pounds plus. Uh, I've landed them with 35 pound uh, boxer rod and reel match. 35 pound line but it takes a long time and you you've really got to fight them there are catfish there that go over 50 pounds so 
So you've got to have a good week. Florida, when you finally get there, watch my video. And hopefully I can help you with that. So I know that's kind of an unusual way of leveling up. Instead of just going on up to the, to the next lake, going out to Oregon and see what you can do. I'm in mean, Colorado. So we'll get it right here in just a minute. Yeah, once you level up in Oregon, then you want to go back to New York and farm New York for walleye, sauger, perch, and black crappie. Uh, that's my best advice. It's what I did. Uh, so that's about it. If you've got any questions or any comments, I greatly appreciate them. The other thing is, be sure and rent a kayak so that you can get into these areas where you need to be to catch the fish. Okay? Well, good luck. God bless you and your families. Uh, catch some fish. Catch a lot of fish. Catch some big fish. Most of the important, have fun. So, tight lines. And uh, if you see me out in the game, ask me any questions you want to, and I'll do the best that I can to answer. Uh, send me a comment. I'm Bobby2888 on Steam. Uh, if you find me there, you can. it's easy to chat with me there. Um, okay? So that's about it. So thank you for watching. Uh, I'll catch you out here later. Y'all come back now, you hear?